What the flip is up, tubers? How we doing? Great. So I have no idea where the intro went to this video. I filmed one. I can't find that footage. So it's just gonna jump into me straight talking about the experience. Basically this video is just a story time slash vlog. It's like my other travel videos, like my Korea video, my Harry video. You know the drill. I sit down, I explain the situation, and I insert vlog footage because I suck at vlogging. A lot of shit happened. I took my time editing this. I wanted to make sure it was perfect. So pause this video, get a snack, go to Taco Bell or something, and come back because it's a long one. And yeah, enjoy! Transition. So first of all, I want to preface and say I was so excited to go to Cancun with Caitlin and Gabriella. This was the first time I didn't get sick before a trip. And I was like, let's fucking go Cancun. Get on the airplane. I'm traveling through the sky. Get to the hotel. And I kid you not, the people at the hotel were treating me like an actual celebrity. Like I was like royalty or some shit. I looked like such a hag. Didn't shower. I just was not looking like cute, you know, and like glamorous. But they were still treating me that way. I was like, okay. They give me a glass of champagne right, right when I get off the shuttle. Champagne, bitch. And he has to take a picture with me. It was so nice. They were so nice. And this guy's like checking me in. He hands me a platter of different soaps. And he was like, now take a whiff of each soap and tell me which soap do you want. And I'm like, what? I'm like, okay. So I'm like smelling all these different soaps. I brought the soap with me. Oh yeah, it's right here. I picked this soap from my room. They would just restock my bathroom with sandalwood soap. It was so lit. It smells so good. And then after I picked my soap, he brought out another platter. Okay, so what do you want your room to smell like? all of these different essential oil smells, but they were all called something different. And I smelled the sensual one, and I was like, I like this one the best. He was like, you want a sensual in there? And I'm like, uh, I guess. <laughs> like, it's just me and Caitlin. Um, he gives me the keys. I walk into the room, there's two beds. I was like, hello, Caitlin? She wasn't in there. Hello? Oh shit, this is nice. Oh, oh my God, they gave us a what is this? Oh my god, ew, I'm gonna yak. I literally just gagged in my mouth looking at that. The bathtub. This is, apparently this is a premiere room. I don't really know what that means. I claim this bed. This is my bed. She was here before me, but she didn't claim her shit. I don't even know where her stuff is. This is crazy. I brought Moosley. I just realized that Moosley has never been on an epic adventure with me, ever. I just leave him home. I don't know why. For what? <clears throat> There was a glass of wine right next to the bath. Oh my god, they gave us some wine. I try to open it. And you can guess what happens next. I am a 22 year old woman. The thing is, is I know how to open up a wine bottle, but this particular one, I don't know what to do. There's wine all over my sheets. <laughs> this is why I don't have expensive or nice things. And I'm not just saying that to be quirky or relatable. This is just what happens. But listen, okay, so this is the only wine screw that they gave me. I just need to stop. I just need to stop. Oh my God. This is a nightmare. That's not even the right bottle opener for a bottle of wine like that. You need the one where you put it in the middle right and then you screw it down. Those little flaps pop up and then you go <laughs> Not this one. Or maybe you can use this one and I'm just a dumbass. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing clearly. It's fine. But hey, I'm still blessed. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, holy shit. Why am I about to throw up? Why am I about to throw up right now? What is going on with me? I just got a text. I just got a text from Caitlin and Gabriella. I think also because it smells like wine. It smells like wine everywhere. Sorry, y'all. And I got a text saying that there's a tequila tasting. Oh my god. There's a tequila tasting and the thought of drinking tequila. <laughs> the thought of drinking tequila. <laughs> the thought of drinking tequila right now. This is a nightmare. <laughs> what? Why am I reacting? 
acting this way. I think it's just because I drank a lot the other night and I was super hungover yesterday and my tummy's still like trying to figure out how it feels about that. Anyway. <gasps> Do any of y'all have time to go? And then I text Caitlin and Gabrielle. I'm like, I'm here, bitches. Like, where are you? And Caitlin and Gabriella were like, we're both in our separate rooms. And I'm like, what? So this whole place is to myself. Meet up with them for dinner. <laughs> I'll go to bed early. I wake up super late the next day because I'm still on LA time and we're three hours ahead in Mexico. So I felt like shit waking up. I'm like, damn it, I just wasted the whole day. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's 4.30 in the afternoon. Dude. I apologize. <laughs> now that you're awake, it's time to party. Okay. Um, my nipples out. <laughs> Wait, you have right the here. green in your teeth, even better. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> you guys are probably wondering how the hell we got here and why we are here. We were sent to Azul Beach Resort in Riviera Cancun and we were sent by Luxivo Vacations. The best part about this whole thing is we didn't plan anything. One of their travel specialists booked everything for us. All of our excursions, the hotel, even the flights. They also booked dinner reservations for us for every single night. It was nice, because someone like me, I don't really like planning. I'm kind of go with the flow and I just kind of do whatever. So it was cool to have someone just take control and do all that for me. Luxevo Vacations can book any vacation that you want for the same price as you booking it yourself through like a different booking engine. And especially if it's an international vacation, you just wanna know that like everything's taken care of. You can use the link in my description to find out more information on how to book a vacation just like this. You're welcome. Now enjoy the video. So I get ready for dinner and apparently this place is super fancy so I gotta look really cute. And we go to this restaurant. It was a 24 course dinner, 24. We were the only people in that restaurant that was getting that treatment. Just so out of place. Like we don't belong there. Sup y'all, we're at a really fancy dinner right now. I feel uncomfortable because we're the youngest people here and we're all recording ourselves. I'm a dumbass and didn't bring any fancy purse, so I'm here with my Kmart backpack. <laughs> the I feel like a fool. And I walk in with my plastic cup and they took that away from me because that was not acceptable. <laughs> they were like, yeah. they were like hell no. People from different tables were staring at us because they were bringing out different dishes that would like light on fire or just like, it would blow smoke out of the meat and then the smoke would go all over the table. Like it was like a magic show. <laughs> But just for our table, we didn't understand why. It's like the Bible. <laughs> yeah. it's this, this is our salad. The cylinder is the chicken. Inside you have the lettuce, the dressing, and the Parmesan cheese. Both. I love the presentation. Apparently this is our margarita. <laughs> this is a margarita. Like, I thought it was chocolate. This just looks like a dinosaur egg. But I just saw on the sign it said the Caesar salad. <laughs> And I was like, there's a whole ass Bible all about the Caesar salad. <laughs> and then corn over there. Dude, the band the corn? Yeah. <laughs> Just corn is in the corner. <laughs> I am very curious to try this margarita. So how, how it's so slippery. Do you have to peel it? You didn't just break it. Bitch. So you broke your margarita. I this broke my margarita. <laughs> We're about to take a shot. <laughs> not expecting that texture. Why did I not expect this liquid? I want to try this egg thing. She's squishy. It's about the experience, Caitlin. This is literally the texture of a tester. You do it first. It literally tastes just like socks. Like socks? Socks. Socks. It literally just socks. Uh, I just hate the texture in my hands. You always have that texture. <laughs> This is crazy. It's just like a pile of hair. <laughs> this is me pulling out all the hair in my dream. Dude, I don't, I honestly don't know if I can try this one. I'm gonna be real with you. Bro. I like it. Really? It's the best one. 
Really? The best one yet. I feel like we're literally ruining the experience for, for everyone, everyone else. else. Oh. All of us are like, Boom. wait, like you're sure? Bro. Sarah, you're sure? I fuck with it. It tastes like those crunchy onions that you put on your like salad. You know what I'm talking about? Not funions, but. This goes up. It isn't hair. It is hair. Eat it. Just think of those crunchy onions. Soak in the flavor. Soak in the flavor. <laughs> Yes, I am currently doing so. <laughs> give, 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 give me a Thanks moment. for wait. Give me some cold water. <laughs> the band? <laughs> I just have no idea what I was saying. But like, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Yeah, yeah. Sweet and dusty. It's like okay. if you were a child and you put every all of your favorite foods all together. Oh, really? What? Right? Where is food I've ever just like? This is confusing. It's like baby food, but it's like sweet, sour, powdery, yep. tangy, yep. I, I, I taste meat, meat yep. and vegetables, but yep. a cupcake? <laughs> yes. I think I hate it. <laughs> my tongue is freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> my tongue does not My brain through. is like, wait. My brain's no, like, oh, my now it tastes like a salad. It, it tastes like pretentious. Cake. It tastes like goat cheese and mango cake. Exactly. With some exactly. asparagus exactly. and broccoli. Okay, bitch, I feel like I'm in a video game. One, two, have nothing left. You have your dignity okay. and your pride. Do I have that? Yeah, cheers to your Cheers. <laughs> what is that noise? Oh, it's definitely that burger. Oh, she's gurgling again. Is that just stilted? <laughs> why is she upset? <laughs> and that's the <laughs> I mean, why is she gurgling? Why is she upset? <laughs> this bitch just burped. Dig in. I know. Like right when we touch it, just... <laughs> <laughs> and then after dinner, we go back to our rooms and we want to party. We want to do something. But the thing is, everyone at that resort was older. It was really hard to meet people in the resort. It was towards the end of the night and we're just chilling in Caitlin's room. I don't know what we were doing. We were probably just watching YouTube videos. Kind of just like, damn, like I wish that we could, you know, do something tonight. Gabriella was in her room at the time. I think she was taking a shower. This was a few hours after the dinner and Caitlin was still kind of hungry. Why are you hungry? You just had a 24 course meal. But she really wanted chicken nuggets. <laughs> she goes to the telephone to call the room service. There was like a malfunction in the telephone. When she called room service, this woman answered the phone. And the woman was like, hello? Caitlin was like, hey, I was like, to order chicken nuggets. The lady was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and Caitlin was like, um, I just really want some chicken nuggets. And then the girl was like, girl, this is not room service. And then Caitlin was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, who is this? She was like, this is Cassandra. And then Caitlin was like, oh, what's up, Cassandra? I don't know what happened. I pushed room service and it connected to you. And she was like, ha, 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 ha. that's so weird. What the fuck? What are you guys doing tonight? And Caitlin was like, oh my god, we're like not doing anything. We were like looking for something to do, but we don't know how to meet people over here. And then Cassandra was like, oh my god, me and my boyfriend are having the same issue. Like, do you want to come over to our room and like drink and hang out? And Caitlin, being that desperate for social interaction, was like, Oh my god, yeah, sure, like we'll be over there in like 15 minutes. I'm sitting there with my jaw just... I was like, you just made friends with this lady on accident trying to order room service and now we're gonna go party with her. I was scared. I didn't know what to do in this situation. And she was like, get dressed, bitch. We're hanging out with people. I'm like, who? I'm like, who? So now me and Sarah are about to go fucking party in this random ass girl's room. Random ass bitch and her boyfriend <laughs> that are on vacation because we can't get in touch with room service. Get the fuck out, bitch. Hey Gabriella, we're gonna be in room 4415. Oh, whose room is that? We don't know. Drink my mojito. No! No! Take my mojito. I'm bringing Goose <laughs> I'm terrified. Bring the champagne, baby. Got it. Anything could have happened. So we call Gabriella. Gabriella's down. That made me feel a little bit better because I'm like, at least we have three of us. You know what I mean? Still really unsafe. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm in Cancun. Let's get crazy. 
So we're waddling over to this stranger's room and this man opens the door. I was kind of freaked out. I was like, uh, hi. And Caitlin's like, hi, is like Cassandra in there? He was like, oh yeah, my girlfriend, she's on the balcony. And we were like, okay, lit. And we like walk in and we're like, uh, I have like the police on deck on my phone. I'm scared. But we walk in, we go to the balcony and thank God we see Cassandra. She was like, hi. And we're like, hey girl. Like she was really cool. And so we're sitting on the balcony with her. She's like giving us some brewskis. We're just sitting, chatting, talking about life. Like we loved Cassandra. I'm a thousand miles away when girl tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. And it shine as bright as you. Cheers. 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 New friends. Thanks for answering the door. <laughs> yeah, right? We were there till like three in the morning. We went back to our rooms and we went to bed. Okay. So the next day. Oh, also, before we went to Cassandra's room, we went and we bought tickets to Coco Bongo for the next night. Coco Bongo is like this very lit nightclub in Cancun. It's like very popular. That's where you gotta go. I wake up at 10 a.m. and I look at my phone. It's just messages from Caitlin and Gabriella in the group chat. And Caitlin said that she was up till five in the morning puking. She thinks that she got food poisoning. This is a nightmare because like we're gonna go out tonight at a club like damn it Of course one of us gets sick. We're still trying to be positive about it. Caitlin got some medicine. She got some Tums She's just hydrating all day. So that day was just Caitlin needs to get better day because we're going out We need to socialize like Caitlin get your shit together The day goes on and we had dinner plans right before we were gonna leave for Coco Bongo, right? Dinner was at 7 30 around 6 30. I was starting to feel a little bit funky in my tongue and I was like, dude, what? I hear you, like, what do you want? Then it just started to like feel sick. It started to hurt a little bit. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And I text a group chat and I'm like, y'all, my stomach is acting really crazy. I don't think I can go to dinner. I just want to stay in and feel better for Coco Bongo because I'm not missing that. Caitlin and Gabriella responded in the group chat. I was like, thank God, because we feel like shit too. Our stomachs are acting crazy. And I'm like, why, why? Then I started throwing up. As I'm throwing up, I'm like literally saying out loud, I'm like, are you kidding me? What the fuck? I was so mad. Anyway, after I threw up, I felt a little bit better, correct? Correct. We were gonna leave for Coco Bongo at nine. It's 8.50, I'm getting ready, I'm feeling better, and I'm like, okay, let's fucking rage. I feel good. And Caitlin and Gabriella were like, we feel better, let's fucking get it. Let's pop our ass, let's see what Cancun is all about. So. <laughs> <laughs> we get into our shuttle and the shuttle was 45 minutes away from Coco Bongo and we're driving and um, all of a sudden my left ear just randomly plugs up I don't know why so I'm like sitting there in the shuttle like trying to pop it because it's just fucking annoying like when your ear plugs you can't fucking hear out of it hello wake up what are you doing I'm going to Coco Bongo bitch we're about five minutes away from Coco Bongo correct I'm starting to feel like a painful, like sharp sensation. And I'm like, great, great. Of course I get an ear infection. I'm really dead ass getting an ear infection right before the club. Never want to be the bitch to complain ever, but this shit was hurting. Once we got to Coco Bongo and I step out of that van, it was pulsating. It was pulsating. I popped two Advils. I'm like, okay, maybe the pain will go away. Caitlin was still in a pretty bad mood because she had food poisoning all day. She was banking on Coco Bongo to like lift her spirits, you know? We were all like in a weird fucking mood and they knew that my ear was hurting. So I feel bad for Gabriella because she was like trying to like keep the pee and keep the vibe. <laughs> Hi. We find this bar to pregame at and we're all sitting at the bar, you know. I'm trying so hard to keep it positive and like talk to Gabriella and Kaylin, trying to like be distracted. It did not help. It just got worse. I go to the pharmacy across the street. The lady doesn't really speak English. So she goes and gets me these eardrops. The whole label's in Spanish. So I don't really know what I'm doing. Went back to the pregame. I go in the bathroom. I'm like putting the shit in my ear and I'm like sitting in the bathroom stall, like rocking back and forth. And I'm like, please God. <laughs> <laughs> like, what did I do to deserve this? I go back to the bar. I'm like sitting there watching the bartender with my head cocked like this because I'm trying to have the fucking eardrop soak into my ear canal. So I'm like, yes! Come on, King!
that bar was lit, I definitely want to go back again when I had no problems. After that, it's Coco Bongo time. We walk into Coco Bongo, correct? <laughs> And I get a notification on my phone that says I need to approve some transactions on my credit card. As we're walking into the club, I'm just like approving all of these fucking transactions. It's taking so long and there's a guy singing a little bit of Monica in my life. I'm like listening to the big transactions, like approving them. Well, there's like a performance going on in front of me. Caitlin got really excited. Her spirits lifted zero to 100. And she jumped on the bar and was dancing on the bar with a bunch of other chicks. And me and Gabrielle are just like, okay. So that's, that's the vibe while I'm still on the phone with my bank. Once I approved all the charges, I hop on the bar too. Cause I saw Caitlin getting down and I'm like, I'm jealous. I want to be on the bar dancing. Still have a raging ear infection. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to take one more Advil. That third Advil, that shit numbed my ear. I didn't feel any pain anymore. I still couldn't hear out of it. At least I didn't feel the pain. So I was just like, let's have a great night, y'all. Like my ear isn't throbbing anymore. Shit. During like intermission from the performances, people can get on the stage if they want, like during the breaks, and you have like 15 seconds just to like dance. You have your little moment, right? Caitlin sees that and she's like, Sarah, we need to go on stage. And I was like, all right, I'm down. I'm like drunk enough, so let's do it. Once they gave us the green light, we go on stage, right? We're dancing on stage, thinking everything is chill. I'm like twerking and everyone's like below us. I feel like a motherfucking pop star. There's like lights flashing on me and like the music is so loud and I'm just like twerking and shit. I like think I'm so hot, think I'm killing it. And I was killing it. But I was wearing one of those long skirts, like sarong type things. And the people that were running the lights took advantage of that. And apparently there was like an air machine or like a smoke machine or whatever the fuck. As I'm like bent over like twerking on stage thinking I'm hot shit, all of a sudden I hear <laughs> I look down and my whole skirt is just up. It's like flapping me in the face. My whole stomach, thong, ass is just out in front of everyone. Everyone was down below me. Like my skirt flew up in my face. They kept the air going for too long because I was like trying to like shove my fucking skirt down, but it wasn't going down. And we were in like a tight, compact part of the stage right in the middle. And then I like tripped over Caitlyn while I'm like trying to get out. It was horrifying. Everyone was laughing because they were like, oh shit. <laughs> I was so mad and so embarrassed. That was so fucking embarrassing. Everyone saw me in a thong. Everyone saw my pubes. Like it was, it was, it was. <laughs> It was the worst. I'm not even at like a confidence level yet where I want to show like my whole ass stomach to everyone in this fucking club, let alone a thong. I'm just not there. And so I was just so horrified. And then they started to like do the air again and I like got back really quick so they didn't like blow me out again. And I was like, fuck you, fuck you. You tried, you tried it. And then I'm coming down the stairs mortified, pissed, on the verge of tears, but I wasn't gonna cry because I didn't want them to win. And all these girls are coming up to me and they're like, oh my God, like that was so fucked up. And I'm like, yeah, 
just if you're up there just make sure that you're pulling your skirt down just in case they want to pull some shit like like why me because i had slits in my skirt fuck y'all and you know what i was mad humiliated it was horrible but afterwards i was just like fuck it i'm cute even though i'm kind of insecure about my body right now fuck it I'm gonna still have a good time and get lit and I'm gonna still dance on this bar. It was fine. Like who does that? You suck, you suck. Other than that, it was a great night. Anyway, I'm gonna move on to the next topic. So we wake up the next day and we are just severely hungover. Like Gabriella texts me and she's like, all right y'all, like be ready in 30 minutes. We're gonna ride some camels. And I'm like, oh yeah. I forgot that we're doing that today. Great, next thing you know, I'm on a damn camel. Just trying not to puke. Yeah, dude. Yeah. shy s-h-y like oh i'm shy but they named him that to be ironic and like sarcastic because he is the most frat boy camel he was such a little flirt he was my camel and we had a special relationship because you feel a connection to this camel while you're riding it it's very similar to horses like they feel the vibe so me and shy were vibing while i'm riding him i'm like rubbing his humps and shit it was intimate it was beautiful we had to dock the camels just so they could rest right by the beach we got off the camels to like take pictures with them and stuff and Shy was being a little fucker. He was flirting with all my friends. He was kissing all of them. And every time I would try to talk to him, he would like turn his head away like this at me. I like thought he loved me, but then once like all of his friends were around and all my friends were around, he like pretended like I didn't exist. It was some fuck boy shit. And then when none of the camels were looking and all my friends were like talking, then he would give me attention. Boyfriend. <laughs> Sorry, Will. You have been replaced. Thanks for the ride. Hugger. You can hug her. Oh. Oh, no, I just don't want to talk to me. What did I do? <laughs> We're fighting right now. Wow. Are you cheating on me? Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Why are you cheating on me with all of my friends? Dude, that one literally hates Shy you. Hates me. It's complicated, <laughs> but we're working on it. You're blowing it. My camel says hello. I'm just scared it's gonna bite me. <laughs> I know this one's gonna bite my hand. Oh, that one hates you a lot. Oh, oh no, you just oh. Whatever. Whatever. I still love you. We'll talk about this in therapy. <laughs> After that, we took a nap and kind of rejuvenated. We like got ready and we were gonna go to the bar in the lobby. And we look outside of the bar and we see like a performer in the lobby and he's like playing guitar and shit. So we're like, oh, let's go watch him. We go out into the lobby. Some really cute fans come up to me. Two girls individually who were there with their families came up to me at the same time and I was just talking to them and they were really cute. And then this one other girl and her boyfriend came up to me. We were all just talking out in the lobby while there was like a performer and we were kind of like dancing too the performer like packed his shit up and he was going home so we were like fuck what do we do now and i'm like with four of my fans in the lobby and i'm like do you guys want to like go into this bar i know you guys are 15 but minors can go in there they just can't drink obviously so i'm like do you guys just want to like go in there and talk or something and they're like yeah sure so we go into the bar and then all of a sudden this dj just appears out of nowhere and he just sets up his dj equipment in the corner of the bar and there's like a dance floor and he just starts playing all the jams all the hits so we all go out on the dance floor it was so cute one of the girlies like she came out on the dance floor but then she was like i can't dance i can't dance and i was like what do you mean you can't dance just like move to the music and she's like no i don't know how and i'm like come on girl by the end of the night like this bitch was like on the floor like getting rowdy and i'm like love to see it you see that oh,
stop and I'm gonna make a part two to this story because I'm gonna talk about Miami next and Miami was also just a shit show but yeah thanks for watching guys if you like this give it a thumbs up and get ready for part two